What's going on guys? This is Ethan the Natural back here with another video and guys today this is the first time that I will be playing NHL 22 on this channel. I've been playing it for months now. I've had it since Christmas and um, it's really fun and I've done all kinds of things in this game and two of those things have been creating the Omaha Lancers and the Omaha Mavericks. Now, some of you, I mean, if you're watching this video, you have to be some sort of hockey fan. Okay, now the Omaha Lancers are a USHL team in the Midwest, United States, Omaha. And I go to their games frequently. We have season tickets, and I've customized all their jerseys to be pretty close. And if they come out with, like, a new jersey, then I try to get that in. Try to get that in. And yeah, so, uh, and then the Mavericks, another team that is in Omaha in the, uh, NCHC. And yeah, so I don't go to these games as much, but I do like to go to them. They are very fun. So, and I was trying to make a thing with myself like a promise to myself that I would make another video based off of the video that has the most views on my channel. The video that has the most views on my channel is my hockey playoffs in NHL 19 when I started the first video I ever made back in April of last year. And so we're going to be doing another playoff, but first I'm going to show you guys these two teams show you how to create them in your own game if you want and uh... leave a comment down below if there's any other college teams you have in mind that you would like me to create and like uh, anything that you any any team that you have that you would like me to create that isn't in the game just let me know i'll create it and then i'll show you, and then i'll show you what you need to do to create such a the team so yeah, I'm going to show you guys with these teams and then show you how the playoffs is going to work. But anyways, let's just get ready. Okay, so for the Omaha Lancers, so first, let's go into the details. I'll show you everything that I've made as detail for these guys. So first, obviously the team name, the Omaha Lancers, location, Omaha. Their team nickname, just put it as original name. The play-by-play -play name, they don't have Lancers. So I just put Lakers, because that was the closest thing I could ha I could find. Abbreviation OML, because Omaha Lancers. Uh, their arena is the Liberty First Credit Union Arena here in Ralston, Nebraska. And uh, the goalies do not use team colors. And that's one thing I didn't mention earlier in the intro is I customize the goalie gear based on the goalie that I drafted for the team. I will show you guys those as well. The team prestige just did that average, market size medium. Local fan base is very devoted, but the national fan base is obviously casual because nobody knows about the Omaha Lancers except if you live in Omaha. The local popularity is very average. I would, I'll say that. It's not, there's not a lot of people that come to these games. The national popularity is definitely at the bottom. And then I just made all these up just because the Lancers literally only have one floor because it's not it's not a great arena, but it's actually like it's not like these big NHL ones. But you'd be surprised. It's actually the like one of the best facilities in junior hockey. Alright, so then we have logos and branding. So obviously <laughs> I used uh the old Vancouver Canucks logo. And uh yeah, I just thought that worked the best. And then this one for their uh, shoulder patch logos. And then this one is for their most recent jersey, the uh, uh, um, their, uh, one for uh, St. Patrick's Day. And I created, I created that logo and everything. So there's all the logos and the colors. Now let's get to the uniforms. So we got the home uniform. Home uniform. They're black jerseys. In real life, they don't have that stripe at the bottom and their socks are kind of different but there wasn't actually anything that I could find about their um, the, the anything that was any closer for their home uniform socks so that was the best this was the best I could do and in real life their jersey has like the 
uh, on the front, it has the words Omaha Lancers, but obviously you can't do lettering in this game. So I just did, I just threw on the, their, uh, logo. And then, um, yeah, so these are, so this is everything. I'll show you guys now for their orange jersey. So this one, the closest I could get with this jersey, obviously they have that white, uh, stripe around the shoulders, but I couldn't quite get that. And this, um, uh, the lot the black line with the white around it so that was the best I could do and then the breezers and then the socks so that's pretty much it and the logos on the helmet I forgot to mention pretty much everything is the same except for like the jersey and the socks because obviously they use the same and then the St. Patch the St. Patty's jerseys so this was probably the closest I could get they had this little logo on the bottom but this was the closest that I could find they don't quite have those white on the on the arms but anyways that was close I could get and then the green and then the white color and then just the all green socks you could pretty much just use any preset of anything and just m make it one color so yeah that's pretty easy and then the helmet and the gloves are the exact same okay now for the arena so for the base archi architecture I did pro stadium number four because they have these little um like screens up top that kind of kind of look like the ones they have. It was as close as I could get. And then the uh, wall color. The only thing I ever change, and this is regardless of how they look in real life, I do this with every single team of mine. I style the color based on. Uh, I actually haven't done this yet. I guess I forgot. Eh. Well, I style the color based on. Oh, that doesn't actually look good. I'm actually gonna change. It looks like red rather than orange. There we go. Much better. So I style I like to style the wall color based off of like their their team colors regardless of. So they don't actually have a scoreboard. So I just went with the first one cuz they don't actually have a scoreboard. They have these um like big screens on the on the side of the wall that show basically like any thing. And then netting color black because that's what it is. Uh, seats. So I went with seat pattern number five, because the Lancers have a row where the the a row where there are certain um, chairs that are gray, and so I just colored those. But the rest of them are black. Uh, stairs and railings. I didn't really mess with these because they're just they're pretty much the same thing. Boards and glass. Board trim color. And then the sanction is metal. Uh, the ice has that logo this logo and then that line um, the arena presentation the intro I didn't really do anything for the intro because I think the only thing I did was the uh, the scoreboard smoke that was the only thing I did for this the goal is the goalie effect is like a orange uh, an orange pulse is the kind of the closest thing I could get to it no skater no skater effect uh, I think I did more scoreboard smoke because that's what it is even though they don't have a scoreboard it's like this weird kind of thing and then the goal light is obviously the classic goal light power play there is no fan reaction during the power play so and then the win the Lancers they don't quite like salute like like in this game what they do is they all go around the, uh, all go around the logo and then they slap their stick on the ice twice to salute the fans and that's kind of a cool thing that I like to see at the end of every game, no matter if they win or if they lose, they, they salute the fans. Goal post color, the same. Arena audio. So the goal horn, I did a preset, I did air raid. And this is what it sounds like, obviously. But that that is kind of like what theirs is now. And their song, I can't remember, was it in jazz? I can't remember which one I did, I gotta find it. I think it was in rock. Yeah, it was this one, Unstoppable, because it used cuz it cuz it, it's part of their intro. I couldn't get their qu quite their goal song, and all all the rest of the songs are the same except for this one. I I do the electronic get it started. I like that for the power play. And yeah, so we preview preview the arena. This is what the arena looks like. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much what the arena looks like. And this is the mascot. So I did the um I did their current mascot is named Blades. 
And this is the closest I could get. The head isn't quite like that, but the body, his body, is is basically like that with the with the orange kind of shoes looking thing. This is the closest I could get. His name is Blades. And then the roster, all of these are free agents. Pretty much all of them I just use for free agents. All right. So now I'm gonna save, and I'll show you guys the, Omaha, the Mavericks. Omaha Mavericks. All right. So let's go to details. So first, obviously, the team name Mavericks. Location being Omaha, team nickname, I just did Mavs because that's what everybody says. Team play-by-play -play name, they actually had Mavericks, so I was able to do that. I thought that was pretty cool. The abbreviation OMM, Omaha Mavericks, uh, I that's the close I did. Baxter Arena here in Omaha, Xarbon, you get it. Goalies, again, I customized their equipment, so you guys will see that later. The... Uh, Team Prestige, Average, pretty much the same thing as the Lancers. And the concession level, I did this based on... Uh, uh, this is actually level 2. Uh, and yeah, so this is all the stuff for the Omaha Mavs, their details. So now let's go into the logos and branding. So I did the Omaha O symbol. This is kind of the closest I could get. Then you have the bowl. I like this one. This was just another version of it that I couldn't, that I couldn't, I didn't really have any other logos to put because there weren't any other logos I really needed. So I just did that one. And now the uniform. So their home uniform is white. And it makes it very controversial because every single um, NHL team has. Uh, the white jersey is the away. So usually I just use the alternate. I'll show you that later. But this is their home jersey. It is very cool. I like this jersey. Um, and obviously the helmet and the breezers and the gloves stay the same. But yeah. All right. Now we have the away jersey. Again, another very cool jersey. Um, the logos are slightly different on the back. But I, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and then the socks and then the logo and everything. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Another alternate. And I I don't like this jersey as much. But it is definitely very cool. It is the gr all gray with the black stripe going through. And I actually couldn't find any images online of this. So I just kind of had to go off, like, based off of memory when I saw them play in these. So, yeah, this is a... Pretty cool, pretty cool jersey. Definitely not as cool as the first two, but it is a very cool jersey nonetheless. Okay, now, now let's go to the arena. So again, the base architecture is Pro Stadium number two because they have this uh, that um, I don't know what it's called. The thing on the side that has the arrows on it. I'm not sure what it's called, but you know they have that one that's kind of elevated slightly. So I did that for Pro Stadium number two. Wall color, the only thing I changed is tunnel color. Um, and then the scoreboard, I actually, they actually do have a scoreboard. So I tried to get it as close as I could. The netting color is black. Uh, the, so the seats are just all black. So that was, that was just what I did. I just made them all black. Stairs and railings, again, didn't mess with those. Boards and glass, I know they have they have I think theirs is the is glass. I know I know it's glass. So I did so I did that. Uh the center ice uh, I just did the Omaha logo cuz their current one is like they they've been playing they've been around for 25 years. So they have that, but I can't quite make that. So the arena presentation, the intro, they have actually scoreboard or er, smoke coming out from the by the goal. Um, and then so that so they have that during the goal as well. The goalie effects, I don't know what type is this. They actually don't have any goalie effects. They only have the one for the skater, which I just did number one, which is just that. So yeah, and then the sanction is obviously you can't do anything. The signature effects though is is this just the same as the one in the previous? And then the goal light is obviously the classic. And then there's no power play reaction, so it's just, yeah. All right, and then the win, they also do a team salute. So I did that. 
And that's pretty that's that's it for the arena presentation. Goalpost color and then arena audio. So the goal horn. So for the goal song, I did come back harder. And obviously the same for the win song. I did come back harder from the rock. From rock music. Power play song, obviously I did the uh, get it started. That's what I do for each of them. And then the goal horn. I can't remember what preset. It was Siren 2. So I did that one. And yeah, so the just a preview. Height, zoom out. And there you can see the whole arena. Well, that's it for the arena. So now if we go to the mascot, this was kind of the closest I could get. I, this is just what I did and the body and everything so yeah and the rosters I went and chose these with like a spinner wheel and everything to decide and I chose from different NHL teams and I changed all of their all of them to have the cage because in the college they require you to wear a cage or a fishbowl so I just gave them all cages alright so that's it for the Mavs now I will show you the goalie equipment and then set up the tournament okay, so I am back here in the game uh, so now I'm going to go to uh, so let's go to rosters and edit player so now we're gonna go once this decides to load we're gonna go all the way down to the custom teams and obviously so let's start with the Omaha Lancers because that's just what's first here uh, so let's go with the goalies so the starter Neuwirth, click on him. So this is his equipment. And yes, I I couldn't So this is the closest I could get. In real life, these pads are like different cuz like in the game the uh the top the pads that top line on the very top of the pads can is in real life is colored to black and I couldn't quite get that and the overall look of these pads is it just has an, a different overall look in real life but um, this is the closest I could get for uh, Neuwirth so and he is replicated off of Kevin Posh so and then so uh and then I gave him this orange helmet because I thought it fit and then obviously the stick. So now we save. Now to Dubnik. So So he is replicated off of Thomas Heaney. So his pads are kind of like kind of like this. I got him basically as close as I could and then obviously the stick and everything. So I actually I actually like these pads. I think they're cooler than uh Posh's right now. I mean, I like I like Posh's a lot. Um but these are these are really cool. I like these very much and I just gave him the black helmet. This is very cool. So yeah, this is this is his setup, and I, again, I I really like this setup. Some of the stuff on the back of the glove is different, but I couldn't really do anything with it, so this is the closest I get. I use the true pads for these, and then the Bauer stick. So yeah. Now for the Mavericks goalies. So first we have um uh I don't know how to say his name. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try because I know somebody's gonna get mad at me for saying it wrong. But um So here are so this I replicated him off of images I could find for uh 
Jacob Jacob Zab Zab. I'm not sure how to say that. But these are the, this is what I found for him, and I I don't like these as much. They're definitely not my favorite, but they are they are pretty cool. And the, I gave him the red mask because uh, one of the uh, other goalies that I'm using already has the black one. Um. <clears throat> As you know, uh, the, or I don't know if some of you might not know this, but the Mavs don't have, or the Mavs have three goalies, and, um, I think most college teams have three goalies. Anyways, Corpusala, he is the starter, and I get, I replicated him off of Isaiah Seville, and I like these pads much more, I think they're much cooler, but, um... Yeah, I, th I think this is really cool. And obviously him playing for Columbus. But yeah, this so this is these are his pads that I changed him. I changed these for all the teams and this is ki these are kind of the only teams I ever use unless I'm playing with the Red Wings, which is my favorite team. All right, so that's it for even discarded, I don't really care. Now the last goalie, Hill He is going to be replicated off of Austin Roden. And his pads actually are the same as uh, uh, a Jacob Zab or uh, the one guy that I, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. But they're basically the same thing. It's just they're different colors and everything. And then the white helmet. And I, 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 I like it more than... Um, uh, I'm just gonna say it, Brissoit. I'm not, I don't know how to say it, but I like it more than his pads because I I think it has uh is more creative. So okay, so that is all the the setup for the goalies. So now we're going to go into and I'm gonna set up the tournament, and then I will. do the tournament for you guys uh, in a later episode because this just took a long time longer than I expected it to and I don't usually like my videos to go that long so yeah uh, oh. so I've gone ahead here and already chosen pretty much all the settings I just could change that to however I want so obviously the number of teams we're gonna have 16 I've actually changed it to single knockout that way I can do the entire tournament in like a video uh, and then obviously all this stuff is traditional, so we'll just continue that. So now we're gonna set up the teams. So you guys wouldn't have wouldn't know this because I haven't actually said anything about it. So the Mavs are a NHL caliber team. They have players from all all different teams. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take I'm gonna go into uh, I'm gonna do the spinner wheel, the NHL, NHL teams, spinner, spinner wheel, and I'm going to spin it, and whatever it lands on is the team that is chosen to be in that spot, and obviously, we're going to have the Mavs up first, right here, Weird. okay, so we're just going to do, so I'm just going to do a number generator, <laughs> Uh, through 30 and just see what happens okay so that these are the teams so in the NHL we have the Omaha Mavericks New Jersey Devils New York Islanders Ottawa Senators New York Rangers Chicago Blackhawks Calgary Flames and the Minnesota Wild and in the AHL we have the Omaha Lancers the Chicago Wolves the Milwaukee Admirals the Belleville Senators, Ontario Reign, Hartford Wolfpack, uh, Utica, uh, Utica, I don't know how to say that, Comets, and Colorado Eagles. So these are the teams that will be in the playoffs, and I will get I will get this video out as soon as I can. I might I might even record it today. But this is gonna be it for this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to what, 30 subs? So. Smash the like button, send this video to your friends, your family members, enemies, I don't care. Just send it to everyone you know. And yeah, let's 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 blow up this channel. Sorry guys that I haven't been posting in a while, but yep, I'm back, so 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one peace